we're on the way up to Gornograt, which is a viewing platform for the Matterhorn. We've just gone above the cloud line so you can actually see all the snow now. It's absolutely beautiful and it's minus four, so that's going to be really interesting. Top of Gornograt. What are we up here to see? Hopefully to see the Matterhorn. Which way is it? Could be anyway. I think it's, it's over there. I think it's in the clouds. That's alright. Plenty of time. We're on top of the Gornograt, which is the best viewing platform for the Matterhorn. As you can see, it's it's beautiful. Stunning. Matt's throwing snowballs at me. It's actually just started snowing, so that's pretty cool. Haven't seen snow in quite a few years, so that's pretty amazing. But it's currently minus four up here, so it's a little bit chilly. And hopefully, oh, snowballs, hopefully those clouds will clear and we can show you guys an amazing view of the Matterhorn. for Matt he's gone on a bit of a, a mission and the Matterhorn has just popped out oh I can't see it it was just popping out of the clouds ah oh, missed it we'll keep we're staying up here for a couple more hours so hopefully we'll be able to see it and I'll be able to get some form of footage but yeah Matt's gone for an explore down there in the distance he's doing his mountain goat but yeah, hopefully we'll see some Matterhorn, see the Matterhorn soon, and I'll catch something on film. Gone and went to the Matterhorn to peek out from behind the uh, the clouds there. Unfortunately, teasing us a little bit. So um, Kia had a coffee. I'm having the breakfast of champions, beat of beer. Because it's actually cheaper than water. <laughs> when in Austria. Oh, in Switzerland. <laughs> Afternoon, guys. We just left Zermatt. So We're headed um, on four trains to get down to Lauterbrunnen. Um, this afternoon, we're going to do a few little hikes around Lauterbrunnen. But this is the view out of the train for the next few hours. So we left Zermatt and we jumped on the train to Lauterbrunnen. It was four trains in total. It was pretty easy actually. Swiss Rail is pretty darn easy. We got to our hotel where we are staying, which is actually at the base of one of the waterfalls in this valley, which is pretty cool. And now we're just going to spend the afternoon going for a hike and trying to find this waterfall called Trummelback Falls, I think it is. We'll let you know. This is pretty amazing, guys. Behind me up there on the hill is the glacier that feeds half of these waterfalls. Absolutely epic. So we just made a slide schoolboy error. We were going to Trummelback Falls, which is up there, but they don't take credit cards. So you've got to make sure you've got cash on you, which we don't have at the moment. So we're going to have to come back again tomorrow and try and do it then.